Welcome to Presenter. Let's get started creating our first presentation. When you first launch Presenter, you'll see a window that looks like this. And on the left side of your screen is this is where your queue list will be set up or your order of service. So I have a Wednesday night service open here and I have a welcome, some announcements, a few songs, some scripture verses, and then a closing graphic. Down in the bottom left of the screen, you'll see a preview window and that will show a preview of what you're currently showing on the screen. Uh, along the top, you'll have access to all your libraries. So let's just get started creating our first uh, set list or queue list uh, for a service. So I'm gonna click down to the queue lists uh, library at the top of the app. I'm gonna go to create new. And I'm gonna call this my sample queue list. And I'm gonna pick a date for this service and then click Create. You'll notice that on the left then, I have a blank slate to get started adding cues or elements to my service that I wanna display on the screen. So let's go and add a queue. This will bring up the queue editor. And in the queue editor, you'll see options for the background and you'll see options for the foreground. Every single queue of your service or element in your service will have a background and a foreground. So for this one, let's just make the first element something very simple, and that'll be a background of media. So I'm gonna click media, and this will bring up my media library. Um, you can, I can import media here from my computer. I can import video, images, audio files, have some different views here. I can display them as a list or as a thumbnail view, and I can hide the filters and show filters. And these filters, you can filter by tag, uh, type, and also by name. So I'm gonna pick just uh, this image here of bouncing shapes by hovering over it and clicking the green check. That will add that graphic to that queue. And you'll see it brings me back to the queue editor. And I have the option to select how I would like this image to show, to scale. And to, so to put this image up onto my screen and display it, I can either click the queue here on the left or click launch on the top right in the queue editor. I'm gonna click this queue and you'll notice that in the bottom left where my preview is shown, you'll see that this uh, bouncing shapes graphic is now on screen. So it's a very simple queue. So let's go back to that uh, editor. You can right click on the queue and go to edit, or you can hover over the queue and click the pencil. And this will bring up the queue editor where, where we were before. There's no foreground on this queue, which is fine. So it's just showing the image as a background. Let's add a new queue. So let's click add queue again on the left in my list and it's just adding elements to my list. I'm, I would like to add a song now that I wanna put on the screen. So let's go for under foreground, click lyrics. And this will bring up my song library. I have many songs already in my library. Another way to access my song library is by clicking songs at the top and that will bring down the library from the top and you can see the same list there. Um, uh, let me just, you can also filter here. So I'm gonna filter and do a search for a song here. And notice that as I search here, it's also searching song select. Um, so if I didn't have this song in my list library, so up here at the top is my library. I don't have the song, A Mighty Fortress is Our God, but I'd like to put that song in. Song select has it. I can click it, get a preview of the lyrics, wonderful and then press import. And now I don't even have to uh, type that song or I type those lyrics in, which is a great time saver. So now that I've imported that, I'm gonna go back to the queue I was editing and I'm going to um, search for that song. Great, there it is. Click it. And you'll see that that foreground is now set to that song. And now if I fire or launch this queue by clicking it on the left in the list or by clicking launch here, you'll see it loads up a queue with all the slides that were imported. And to put them on the screen, I simply click them and you'll notice in the bottom left in my preview, they're going on the screen as I put them up. Now, if I wanna add a background to this, same thing, let's go back to our queue editor, edit this queue and select media as the background and pick one of the, the images or videos that I have in my library. I'm gonna choose this one here. So now you'll see in the queue editor, I have media selected for the background and 
lyrics selected for the foreground. Fire this cue again by clicking it. And now you'll see that when I put up these slides, they have this cool red background on them. Now to edit a song, let's talk about editing a song or creating a song on your own if you didn't have a way to import it from Song Select. You can bring up the song editor by clicking the pencil over any slide to edit that slide or by going back to the song library from the top, uh, finding the song that we'd like to edit. So let's bring in the song that we just brought in. See it's in my library, click it and it'll bring up the song editor. Here's where you can add slides, change words, um, and uh, also set a slide order. So you'll see on the top you have formatting options that you'll see um, that are something you're probably familiar with if with any type of word processor or presentation creator. Here's my slide. Notice I have all my slides on the right. I can click them to view all the lyrics that are on every slide. I also have some advanced options. Let's change the vertical alignment, how, how the lyrics show on the slide, add a shadow, add an outline. Um, you can make all of them uppercase or all of them, all the words lowercase. And uh, also adjust the margin, the margins of the slide as well. So if I wanted to add another slide to this uh, presentation, I would click new slide. Notice it added a, or added a new slide there. And then I can make some adjustments. I'll say slide 10 lyrics. And I would press save here in the top right. Bring up my cue again that I was just on before by clicking it on the left. And now when I scroll to the bottom, you'll see I have a new slide called slide 10 lyrics. So let's go back to that uh, song, or song editor. Another great feature of Presenter is the ability to set a slide order. So if I check this in the bottom right of the slide editor, you'll notice another column is added here. And this is where I can set a order of how I'm going to uh, present the song or play through the song. So say I'm gonna do verse one, I'm adding these slides by clicking the plus sign next to them, and then I'm gonna sing the chorus, then verse two, then the chorus, then verse three. And then you'll notice I'm building my order here. And then anytime I wanted to make an adjust, so if I go to chorus and I you know, add a new line here and say extra line, it'll update it for all the times the chorus is used in this song. But don't need that there, so I'm gonna delete that out there. Great, let's save this. And notice when we're back in the queue view here, look at I have verse one, second slide of verse one, then I have the chorus, then verse two, the chorus. So the operator can go through this by pressing the space bar um, and they don't have to hunt around for the song. You'll notice that too, there's a one here in the corner of each slide or a C here. These are keyboard shortcuts. So if I press the one key on my keyboard, it'll fire verse one or C, it'll fire the chorus. Three, it'll fire verse three uh, and so forth. Great, let's see what other kind of cues we can create. So I'm gonna go to add cue in the left here and see I have the option to create slides. Slides are a little bit different than lyrics. Slides are mainly used for sermon notes, announcements, things like that. So let's see what I currently have here. I have some, some slide presentations available to use that I already created, but let's create a new one. I have some templates here. Just pick one by, uh, pick one here. And then this is very similar to what, uh, what we were seeing in the other editor, where I can create a title, I can add some content, and then I can save this as well. And then, and then this is now selected as the foreground for Q3. When I fire Q3, it brings up that slide. A great feature of Presenter that's available with Worship Extreme Pro Plus are templates. I can see all the great slide templates that I can use if I have Worship Extreme Pro Plus, and it's very easy to use these. Uh, if I find a presentation I like, click Create Presentation, or a template I like, excuse me, and now I can use these, uh, in, in these graphics and backgrounds in my presentation. So I'm gonna save this add a new queue, and then for this one, I'm gonna use the, the slides that I uh, just created, and I can put those up on the screen. Let's see what else we can create. We can also create a scripture queue. This is great because all I need to know is the passage I'd like to present. Put that in. Uh, the passage comes in automatically. Have the option to set a template. That's where I can pick how I would like it to look. And then all I have to do is launch that queue and uh, the, that passage is available 
as separate slides for each verse. We go back to uh, the queue editor. I'm creating a new queue. Just to preview some more of the other things you can add. You can add, um, if I go to the bottom of the queue editor, you can add audio. You can also add Pro Plus Media, which is our collection of motion graphics and images that all Pro Plus users have access to. A web video, like a YouTube or Vimeo video. You can display a web page or a video feed of a camera that's currently connected to your computer. You can also display PowerPoint and Google Slide presentations. Thanks for watching this presenter overview. If you have any questions getting started, please reach out. We'd love to help you out. Thanks.